Now tonight we are getting a clearer look at the case against a Wixom man accused of beating police with a hockey stick during the siege on the U.S. Capitol. 29 year old Michael Foy appeared in federal court for a detention hearing this afternoon as he remains behind bars. We want to get to defender Sean Lake. Sean, the feds are calling Foy one of the most violent participants during that insurgency. Just moments ago in federal court, you're right, Kimberly, saying Foy was one of the most violent at the Capitol back on January 6th. They showed body camera footage from the officer who was attacked. It was absolutely vicious and brutal. The feds say Foy has access to guns. They found two with him at home, 10 at his mother's home, and that Foy admitted to being on a, being on a downward spiral, drinking 10 beers a day. Take a look. You are looking at what a D.C. Metro police officer could see as he was on the ground and being viciously attacked January 6th during the chaos at the Capitol. Federal prosecutors say the officer's body camera captures 29-year-old Michael Foy from Wixom. As they say, Foy used a hockey stick to strike that officer in his head, face, neck, and body. No cameras are allowed in federal court where Foy had a detention hearing late this afternoon. The body camera footage was played and it showed showed an incredibly violent attack. Today, prosecutors revealed that photos from Foy's own cell phone, like this one, placed Foy in the middle of the trashed Capitol. The hockey stick used was found in Foy's Wixom condo, and that Foy attempted suicide the week of the Capitol chaos, and he apparently has access to firearms here at home. Foy's attorney says Foy suffers from PTSD and needs treatment right away, that he was a supervisor in his five years as an active duty Marine earning a good conduct medal and needs to be with his mother in Standish, Michigan, while he awaits trial. Back here live, the magistrate just making her decision, holding Foy in detention. He will not get bond until he can be moved to D.C. to face these charges. Right now, he's in the Livingston County Jail on a suicide watch. We're live tonight. Sean Lee, Local Fort Defenders. Back to you guys.